Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu an la ilaha أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حيا لصلاة حيا لصلاة إن الحمد لله نحمد تعالى ونستعين ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهدي الله فهو محتد ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم يا أيها الذين آمنوا واتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس تقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجال كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تسألون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا واتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يتع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن الأستك الحديث كتاب الله وخيرا هلي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم وشار الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة وأهلها في النار وعياذا بالله وإياكم من النار هبت في الله We ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses us during this blessed 10 days and that Allah Azza wa Jal blesses us to gain maximum benefit from this time. And so I'm going to do my best within these short 10 minutes approximately to give you everything that I can from nasiha lillah subhanahu ta'ala. Kama qala nabiyuna Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam qal ad-deen nasiha qal liman قال لله ولكتابه ولرسوله ولأئمة المسلمين وعمتهم نبي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم said that نصيحة this deen is, is نصيحة the religion is sincere advice and the sahaba رضي الله تعالى عن المجمعين said لمن who to who he said for to, to Allah which means that you're adhering to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he said to the Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that means you're following the Sunnah of the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and following and being obedient to the leader of the Muslims. Asami Utha'a, Lillah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, had the sabab. And to the Muslims. 
So from that, that bab, I just wanted to mention four quick points or points of nasiha. And this is regarding the establishment of this community, which has been established. But just as my advice, my humble advice, which is advice really to the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in that to establish our community, to do anything success, successful, it has to have some of these, these points. The first point of Habatifillah is that we know that the, the, the creator of the heavens and earth can only give us success. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so that means we have to give him his haqqa. Ma the haqqa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that we worship him and him alone. Qala subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitabihi al-kareem. Wa ma khalaqtu al-jinn wal ins illa liya'budun. I've not created mankind except for the purpose of worshiping me. So this is our purpose. So in establishing the community, we keep that in mind. Absolutely. Wa qala subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitabihi al-kareem. Which also lets us know what? That the MBA, they all called to the same message. That's why we're trying to come back to the Nusus. What are the MBA? What were they calling to? What were the Prophets, alayhim afdal salatu wasalam? What were they calling to? Qala subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitabi al kareem. Wa lakad ba'athna fi kulli ummatu rasulin in ni'budullaha. Which tanibu ta'bud. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al kareem. We sent to every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone, meaning calling to tawheed. Calling to the worship of Allah Azza wa Jal alone and to, and to ibta'id or be away from those things worship besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That means we have to know what Tawheed is so we can understand it, we can practice it, we can implement it, we can call to it, and we can call what's the up to away from what's the opposite, and that is shirk billah. Worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in any way. Uh, uh, worshipping other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in any way. Any and all forms of polytheism and shirk, ghayr maqbool. Well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَعَبُدُ اللَّهَ وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِشَيْئًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here, He commands us with an amr, and He gives us a nahi, a command and a prohibition. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَعَبُدُ اللَّهَ This is a command. He says, and worship Allah. And the scholars of fiqh, what do they say? They say, الْأَمْرِ يُفِيدُ الْوُجُوبِ وَالنَّهِي يُفِيدُ التَّحْرِيمِ That the command, when you have something from the book of Allah, or from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and it's in the imperative form, it's a command. That means it's wajib, it's an obligation, illa, unless uh, some other delil comes to show it's not wajib. The point being, a Allah commands us to worship Him and Him alone. And He forbids us again, wala tushriku bi shayin, and do not associate partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second point, a habatifillah, because that is what we establish our community on. That is what we establish everything on, and even the way that we benefit from this time is that it has to be based on worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to have your deeds accepted by Allah, it has to have ikhlas lillah. It has to be sincerely for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, fi kitab al-kareem, وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ مُخْلِسِينَ لَهُ دِينَ هُنَفَاءَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, fi kitab al-kareem, and they were only commanded to worship Allah alone, uh, they were commanded, except they were commanded only to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Mukhlisin with ikhlas, with ikhlas lillah. The second point of habatifillah is that what we do has to be in conformity with the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Many people they say they want Allah, they love Allah. We all say that we love Allah. I think you can't find a Muslim on the earth that fits the description of a Muslim who doesn't say, I love Allah. It's impossible because that is, that's an obligation that you, you must. You, this is the one you adore, you worship, subhanahu wa ta'ala. But what is the dalil? How do we know someone worships Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? We know as Allah says, fi kitabihi al kareem. In kuntum to hibun Allah, that to be only yahbibakum Allah. If it is Allah that you really love, then follow me, and Allah will love you. If you want to show your love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you want to gain the love of Allah Azza wa Jal, it can only come from following the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's why we have to establish whatever we do on the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fiqh al kareem wa ati Allah wa ati Rasul. Obey Allah and obey His Messenger. Simple. Simple. And 
our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that whenever we have discord, we ever have disunity, we ever have disharmony, whenever we have problems, that he gives us a prescription in a beautiful hadith. He mentions Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that when we have these problems, that he says, فَعَلَيْكُمْ بِسُنَّتِي وَسُنَّةَ الْخُلَفَى الرَّاشِدِينَ الْمَحْدِينَ أَذْوَ لَيْهَا مِنْ نَوَاجِذْ the Prophet Sallallahu said that when you have problems, and look at the discord that we have and some of the difficulties that we have, and whenever we have even problems between ourselves, it's Ahl Sunnah. We need to bring it back to Allah wa Rasul. We need the Quran and the Sunnah. So he says, can be Sunnati. It's upon you, my Sunnah, and the Sunnah of the rightly guided Khulafa Rashidin, meaning Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Wa Ali, Radiallahu Tala Anhu Majmain. And he said, cling to it with your molar teeth. Your molar teeth are in the back of your mouth. Cling to it. That means you're fully clinging on to it. And beware of newly invented matters. Anything that's going to distort you from what you know to be the haq, based on the book and the sunnah, ibtaid anhu. Be away from it. Be far away from it. The third point of habit is the importance of ilm. Because in order to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala based on fiqh and basira, so that we, we know how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala properly, it can only come through Islamic knowledge. So I encourage myself and my brothers and sisters to read the Quran often, to read the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu often, to sit with the students of knowledge often, and the ulama often, consult with them, learn your religion. This is how you come close to Allah. If you wanted to be a lawyer or a doctor, you're going to take the appropriate courses. You're going to get the proper certificate if you want to be a software engineer or a master's degree. So what about for the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Of course we have to spend some time learning it. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, May yurid Allah hu bihi khayran, yafaqo fi deen. Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him understanding of the religion. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man salaka tariqan yal talmasuhu bihi ilman sahhalallahu luhu bihi tariqan ala jannah. Whenever Allah, uh, whenever or whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the path of paradise. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with the ikhlas, with the bad, and bless us all with those things that please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and bless us to come closer to Him. Azzawajal. The last point I want to mention is the importance of ta'awan, that we have to cooperate. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabi al kareem. Wa ta'awan ala biri wa taqwa, wa la ta'awan ala ithmi wa udwan. Adhere all of you, ta'awan ala biri wa taqwa, to Piety and God fearfulness. What does the, the, the taqwa mean? As the scholars mentioned, taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it means to adhere to his commandments and avoid his prohibitions. That means when you're reading the Quran, Allah says, Waqimu salat, means you have to establish the prayer. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Do not go near zina, you have to stay away from zina. So that is taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa ta'awun ala bidr wa taqwa. Establishing this masjid, establishing this community requires that we ta'awun ala bidr wa taqwa. Because we see many other groups getting together, spending their wealth lillah or lil batil ahyanan. And they're establishing things. Why can't this community go forward? We have to go forward. We have to cooperate in as Allah commands us to do. Do not co cooperate in falsehood and, and envy. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhab al-nar. Rabbana la tizik qulubana ba'da the daytina wa hab lana min ladunka rahmah innaka anta al-wahab wa aqimu salah.